For me, eating a mango is a spirituality. It's a prayer. It is a ritual. It is a puja. Such a great food in nature. When we eat mango, we express awe and wonder of the Creator God, one who had created all these beautiful fruits. Many people call mango is the fruit of the gods. So I am eating the fruit of gods. So I am practicing spirituality. I call mango and jackfruit and banana, holy trinity of fruits. Holy trinity of fruits. I always wondered, what did our ancestors eat? What were the kinds of dishes they prepared and enjoyed for their daily supper? Sangam, Tamil literature, talks about steamed rice dishes, lentils, and leafy vegetables. The three great fruits described in Sangam, Tamil literature are the mango, the jackfruit, and the banana. In Tamil, it is known as Ma Pala Vale, the holy trinity of fruits. Indeed, jackfruit, Palakai in Tamil, along with mango and banana, forms the holy trinity of fruits in the state of India. In Tamil Nadu, the mango is referred to as one of the three royal fruits along with banana and jackfruit for their sweetness and flavor. This triad of fruits is referred to as Mahapalavari, as I have mentioned earlier. Fruit drinks that include mango are popular in India with brands such as Fruity, Mazda, Slice. These leading brands include sugar and artificial flavors, so they do not qualify as juice under Food Safety and Standards Authority of India regulations. In the West Indies, the expression to go mango walk means to steal another person's mango fruits. This is celebrated in the famous song the mango walk. In Australia, the first tray of mangoes of the season is traditionally sold at an auction for charity. The classical Sanskrit poet Kalidasa sang the praises of mangoes. Mangoes, although they were almost unheard of in China before, were popularized during the Cultural Revolution as symbols of Chairman Mao Zedong's love for the people. India is home to multitudes of mango varieties used in making delicious desserts, drinks and pickles. Check out the top 8 most popular and delectable varieties found in select areas of India. Summer is here and with it comes the refreshing, delicious season of mangoes. India, a tropical paradise for fruits, is home to more than 50 varieties of mangoes cultivated in different states across the country. Here is a roundup of the popular top eight varieties and where you can find them. Number one, Sosna in Imachal Pradesh, the emperor Sher Shah Suri introduced this variety of mango to the northern lands of India from Pakistan during the reign in the 1500s. The name came about when he was celebrating his victory over Humayun in Sosa in present day Bihar. Cultivated in North India, this sweet, juicy variety is available during July and August. It is characterized by a uniformly yellow golden color. It is used to make mango juice pulp.
Number two, Dasheri in Uttar Pradesh, a variety also called Maliyabadi, Maliyabadi for the town in Lucknow where it is mainly produced. The Dasheri mango variety was first cultivated in the garden of a Nawab in Lucknow about 200 years back. Sweet with a strong aroma, it is fibreless and has a long perfect shape. It is bright yellow in color and is used for making chutney and hamras. Number three, Langada from Uttar Pradesh. Banarasi Langada is a famous mango variety cultivated in Varanasi. According to a legend, it was first cultivated in the farmland of a lame man, which is why the name Langada, Langada means lame man. Oval shape, it is green in color even when it is ripe. Available from July to August, it is a fibrous variety that is exported across the country and the world. Then comes Kesar from Gujarat. Amras, that's the one thing this variety of mango is famous for. Also consumed raw, Kesar is found in the foothills of Girnar mountains. Cultivated for consumption between April and July, it gets its name owing to its bright orange color. It was first cultivated by Nawabs of Junagadh in 1931 and was given the name in 1934. It's also one of the most expensive varieties. Then comes Imsaka from West Bengal characterized by a sweet aroma the fiberless variety is medium sized greenish in color with yellow pulp it is available only during the month of june cultivated in nadia mushirabath malda and hooghly it is also found in odisha and in bihar and maldai its creamy flesh makes it great for juice and dessert dishes. Then comes the famous Alfonso from Maharashtra, nicknamed the king of mangoes and hapu. This sweet juicy mango is the most popular and widely available variety all over India and the world. It is rich in flavor and has a creamy pulp in its center Described as a golden yellow, you can identify it with by finding a tinge of red on the top of the fruit. It is found mostly in Maharashtra, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu and Gujarat, available between May and June. This one is famously used for making mango sarbat and lassi. Then comes Banganapalli from Andhra Pradesh. Available from April to June, this variety comes from the town of Banganapalli, about 285 kilometers south of Hyderabad. It is peculiar because of its shape, oblique and oval, yellow in color. It has a thin skin, which is also edible. Large, weighing about 300 to 400 grams, these mangoes are largely used for making preservatives. Then comes Thotapuri from Karnataka. It's known for not being too sweet and has many names. Bengalura, Collector, Kalamai, Kilimuku, Gilli, Muku, Sandesha and Devadiyamuthi. Devadiyamuthi. It gets its name from its shape, which is like a parrot's beak. When ripe, it is greenish in color with tinges of red. It is also popular for being the parent variety to Anderson and Brooks cultivars. 
when it was exported to Florida in 1931. It makes great pickles, salads and mango juice drinks. So that are the eight species of mangoes. There are hundred species of mangoes and these are the most popular ones. And if I have time, I'm going to do some research and find out and dig out every mango on the planet and I'm going to talk it on YouTube. And eat mangoes, they are the fruit of the gods, king of the fruits. It's good for you. Enjoy while they last. Thank you.